There we go. Hi, you guys. So, whew, I almost didn't think I was going to make it. I had a problem with one of my cameras, and all of a sudden, I lost connection with it. And I'm like, ah, oh, what happened? So, I had to fiddle with that. Hey, Chris. So, I've got it going. Hopefully, nothing bad is going to happen, and, and we won't lose connection again. But I am so happy to be here as usual. I thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you're on YouTube and you're watching, thank you so much. And I'm glad that you're here too. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get the announcements going. So I'm going to put us back over here. And then let's see. Oh, well, I still have my class, but that's okay. So I'll put it on here, but the date that's on here is wrong. My class was last night and this morning, and we had a great time. I have not had a chance to load up the pictures today. Today has been a very busy day for me. In fact, I'm a little bit out of breath right now, especially since the last minute snafu and I had to get on my hands and knees and get under my desk and figure out what was going on. So anyway, um, so our next class, I have not posted it yet, but it is going to be scheduled for November 3rd, I believe, and then November, November, um, November 4th. Let me just go on here and check the date. Yeah, so it's November 3rd, which is a Thursday. My classes have been on Mondays, but in November, it's going to be on a Thursday. And that's the evening class at 630. And then the morning class is going to be on Friday the 4th at 11 o'clock. So actually, it's late morning. So that's that. So if you miss this class in October, I hope that you're able to come to the November class because we really do have a great time. It is so much fun. So let me go ahead and add this one. So this is the Paper Pumpkin Get Together that is scheduled for November 7th at 6.30 p.m. Okay, so this this is a, a free event. The only requirement is, is that you are a subscriber to my Paper Pumpkin and or through Paper Pumpkin through me. And you have to bring your kit with you. It does not have to be the Ho 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 kit. It could be another kit or whatever. But you do have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. If you want this kit, you have to subscribe by the 10th of this month in, to make sure that you get this kit. It is going to be a wonderful kit, so I hope that you do. Um, we're going to do cookies that night, and we are going to also think I'm going to throw in a door prize, too. So how fun is that? So you do have to RSVP for that, and there is a link. I'll make sure that I put that in the description for you guys for that. Okay, so the next thing is, is my live, um, my live, my mailbox card class is live now. I am taking registrations for that. Um, I cannot read this because it's so small, but it's $38, which includes priority shipping. What you get in the class is you'll get eight card bases that are cut and scored for you. You will get a full pack of the six by six. Regal's Designer Series paper. You'll get a full pack of the Iridescent Pearls. Um, you will also uh, get all the die cuts for the cardstock. Um, will all be done for you on all of that. Um, I'm trying to read this. It's so little. You'll get a gift from me. This is a surprise gift. You'll get a sweet treat. Um, the PDF tutorial will be emailed to you the day the class ships, which is, um, I think it's October 28th is when it will be shipped to you. Let's see. And so will your PDF tutorial and links to the video tutorials as well. Uh, there are add-on options because you will need the cottage reef bundle to complete the card class. And so you'll have an, an option to add that on. Um, and there's a couple other options is there in there as well. If you just want the PDF tutorial, that is fine. Um, there is a button to push in the registration for you to get that too. And then just give me 48 hours to, I will email that to you within 48 hours. Okay, so. I believe that is pretty much it. So you get at least $20 or more of Stampin' Up! products in this kit. And again, the cost is 
$38 that includes priority shipping. Any add-ons is extra. Okay. Um, but shipping is an extra because I'm going to ship it all together. All right. Hopefully that all just made sense. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. So starting today is another joining Stampin' Up! Starter Kit special. For $99, you get to choose $155 worth of product that is current and available for you to put in your starter kit. So any one of the current catalogs, you can um, pick $155, up to $155 for that. Shipping is free for that. Um, you will also receive a free past paper pumpkin. You will have uh, access to early products. You will also get exclusive access to training events, all that kind of good stuff. The starter kit also includes business resources like catalogs, brochures, order forms, and postcards if you choose to run a business. You don't have to. You can just um, be a discount shopper or a hobbyist, whatever you like. We take all kinds, and we welcome you with open arms. All right, let's go to the next one, and I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this. 24-hour stamp sale is going on right now. It is today only. So if you, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Sorry, I put the wrong one. It's 24-hour free shipping. I am removing that. Free shipping today Twenty if for 24 hours. And so that is 11.59 Mountain Time. So whatever time that is here, which I think we're two hours behind, two hours ahead. I can't remember. I think we're two hours ahead. So that would be, what, 159 here? So as long as you get your order in, then you get free shipping today. So let's go to the next one. Okay, this is right. This is the host code for October until I change it. It's 48XFGUE3. So with any orders um, that you guys purchase that is under $150, please use the host code. If your order is over $150 or more, please do not use the host code. I want you to um, reap the rewards for yourself. Hey, Carol. Um, then this one, that's it. I think that is it for right now. I might have missed something. I'm sure I did. But anyway, all right, so ooh, I almost exit out of um, StreamYard. Okay, so are you guys ready? I have a fun technique to show you guys. It is a baby wipe technique. And although what I'm using isn't really technically baby wipes, it works because I tried it. It's super, super easy to do, and it's beautiful. So I'm going to just do, give you a quick lowdown low down on how to do it, and I think you're going to really like it. So let's go ahead and put – nope, I don't want that one. I want this one. Tina's brain is not working today. Please bear with me. Let me move my hot chocolate out of the way. Matter of fact, I think I want to take a sip of that. Okay. So hopefully you guys are not tired of the cottage wreaths because that's what we're using. I am addicted to this stamp set or this bundle, actually. So my in-person class was on this stamp set. My mailbox class is on this bundle. Last week's live was on this bundle and this week's live is on this bundle. But I so love it so much. And there's so much to share with this stamp set because it's just really, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. So I'm just going to use these wet ones because they're all that I have. I thought I had a whole packet of baby wipes, but I cannot find them. So I'm just going to fold those in half, and I'm going to take two. I'm going to put them on my silicone mat. That's just what I'm, I'm going to do. You can put it on whatever you want to put yours on, um, but that's going to work for me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm doing two, and I think that's going to be enough. It worked earlier. So hopefully it's going to work again. So let me get my light down here. Let me move this. So we're going to be using this image right here, this leaf image. And that's the one we're going to do. So first, I've got a couple of different colors here, like four. And I'm going to start with some old olive. 
These are just reinkers. If you don't have your reinkers, you should always make sure that you get them because you can use them for so many different in, in a lot of different ways, like for this technique and for um, to reink your ink pads for one. And um, just, you can put them in your water spritzers and color your waters, all kinds of stuff like that. And then I'm going to take, um, I think I'm going to take some crushed curry. Actually, this might be Daffodil Delight. I don't know. I just grabbed the yellow. And then I'm just going to drop some of that around. I might be putting too much, but we'll see. I promise you, each time you do this, it's going to be different, too. It's going to look a lot different. If you're joining my live, I'd love to say hi to you and where you're from and if this is your first time joining us. Okay. Just like so. And then I'm going to put a little bit of real red in here, I think. So the color I just put was some Calypso Coral. So I'm just going to try to fill in all the little white areas in here. I might have more red than what I actually want. So I think I'm going to put some yellow right here. And then I'm going to show you some samples of some that I did earlier. That was so pretty. Like I said, each time you do this, it will be different, especially when you lay down your new colors. And you can use any colors you want. You could do, you could throw um, Merlot in the Mary Merlot in there and have more of a burgundy color. You could throw a deep purple like Blackberry Bliss, um, anything like that to have fall leaf colors. Or if you just want to do something springy, you can do different shades of green. You could throw a little yellow in with your green. However you want to do. I wanted to order stuff. Oh, I know. Is it? That is so hard. Okay, I got to go out a little bit further. So I'm just going to put some more yellow just around the outside here. I think I got enough. We'll see. Because what you don't want to do is tap around. Because then you're going to end up with a muddy looking color. I think I got to add just a little more. Sometimes I don't realize how far this wreath goes out. It goes out pretty far. I know as it's the longer it sits, the more it spreads out too. It's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go for this. If we miss a couple of leaves, it's all right. All right, so I'm just gonna push down into that. And then I'm gonna come over here. I think I have a whole lot of red and not very much green or yellow okay and I should be stamping on my piercing mat for um, there you go for a more um, crisp crisp image so in that beautiful look at that and this is called the baby wipe technique so if you wanted um, more green in there you could add a little bit more green which I think I'm going to do like right here um maybe right here i'm just going to put it in the yellow because it'll be like a muted green i think hopefully i didn't just ruin it and then we're gonna stamp it down again i'm not even going to clean my stamp image because i'm okay with whatever color pops up and then we're going to stamp that down and then there we go so isn't that beautiful i absolutely love this thank you guys i'm so glad that you like this so then, here's some other ones that I did. This has a little bit more um, Calypso Coral in yellow in it with just traces of green. See the difference? See how it, this one has a little more deeper red? So it's always, it's it, they're going to turn out different every time. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside. So that's how you do that. And you can just play around with your colors and see how the longer it sits, the more it spreads around. I'm going to play with it a little more because I just have so much fun with this. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> okay, so then I probably should have just done a couple more colors. So I've got that. I'm going to tap that one in a little green there. And then I am going to move this. We got to do some die cutting though, so I can't. 
can't play around too much. And then, oops, I'm not in the camera. Right there. So see, it's just so, so pretty. I, I love this technique. All right. Like I said, you can change up your colors. You know what? I wonder. I don't think I have a blackberry bliss re or I thought I did. Maybe I do. Oops, I'm dropping everything. I got on the blue. I don't think that will work. I don't know. Blue and red make purple, right? Blue and red make purple. So let's try and put a little bit of this. This is Pacific Point. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give this a try. I'm going to stick it right here. Come on. We're going to make a little purple. Or at least that's what I'm attempting to do. Let's see what happens. I am going to clean this this time around. So I'm just going to take that into my chamois. Give it a nice little clean. And hopefully we get a little purple in there. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It might end up being more blue than purple. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it does. It looks like it's going to be more blue. <laughs> ah, it is, but still, isn't that beautiful? Because they do, they are using more blue in fall colors now. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is the one we're going to use. So you just play around with it and you just have fun. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Actually, we're going to die cut in just a minute. What I'm going to do now is I have a piece of crumb cake. This is three and three quarters by five. I am going to run this through the Timber 3D embossing folder, if I can find it right here. So I'm going to run this through, and then I'm going to show you, if you missed World Card Making Day event, you're going to learn something that I learned that I thought was really, really cool. I never thought to do this. Okay, I'm going to run this through my cutting, cutting emboss machine. And I'm making my sandwich. And then I'm going to run this through. Actually, I think I just made my sandwich wrong, but we'll find out. Yeah, I did. I don't need this plate or this plate on here. Okay, then we're going to run this through. Come on, I'm in a hurry. There we go. <laughs> All right. And then there we go. So that's what it will look like, except for I kind of did it the wrong way. I forgot to put it in sideways like this. So you know what? I'm going to run it back through. Let's see what happens. It's probably going to break down the fibers too much. It may not work which means I may have to try to find another piece of crumb cake. And I think that was my last piece of crumb cake. I do not know. Okay. So, let's see what it did. Yeah, there we go. So, there we go. Just like so. So now what I'm going to do, you can use your paper trimmer or you can use your um, Samson, your scoring tool. I'm going to use my scoring tool because I just want to make sure that I get my lines right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to score in lines in here to make it look like it's real wood panel. Okay, so I'm going to start at the half inch mark and I'm just going to score it half inch. Then I'm going to do um, a half an inch. So let's see, that's a quarter and a, so that's uh, one and three quarters would be a half an inch. I'm sorry, three quarters is a half an inch. And then a quarter, which would be an inch. So we're just doing every other. And then we're going to do um, one and a half and then one and a quarter. I really should put my glasses on. And then we're going to do two and a quarter. So it's a quarter and then I got to put my glasses on. Then it's a quarter and then it's a half. The quarter and then a half is what you're going to do. So we just did a half. So now we're going to do a quarter. And then we're going to do um, a half. Right? Am I right? I am. 
<laughs> and then we're going to do a quarter. Oops. Okay. And then let me show you what that did. So can you see the line? So that made like a wood panel. Pretty cool. You can make it further apart, however you want to do it. You just make it your own and do you. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in a piece of Whisper White. This is cut at four and a quarter. It's a half a sheet of cardstock. Cut at four and a quarter by 11. And then I'm just going to fold that in half. And that. And then we're going to put this right on top of that like so. I want to bring this down closer for you guys, but I'm so afraid I'm going to lose connection. Do you see how messy my thing is all stained up because I do not follow my own rules and protect my desk. Okay, so we're going to use the one that had the blue in it because that's so pretty. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some die cutting. So I need the one that cuts out the leaves cut off the leaf reef and then I'm gonna do a bow and I think that's all I'm gonna do on this and then I played around with some DFP this is the Regal 6x6 designer series paper I thought we could do a yellow bow or we could do a green bow but now that I have the blue in there I don't think I want the green we could do a Cajun craze bow which would be really pretty too. And there's really not a whole lot of orange in there, but orange might be just a great color. It might just pop. So I'm going to cut me out a piece here. Um, if I could find my trimmer. I had it earlier. Here we go. All right. Everything is kind of like scattered from my class. I haven't put everything back together yet. Okay, I think I can, I'm just going to cut that right there to make a strip. I am going to make a strip out of this here too, right here, like so. And okay, we are going to try this and see how this works. Let me come over here, take this and this. I would do it in the camera, but I'm so afraid it's just going to shake everything too bad. So um, I'm not going to do that. I need a die adapter cutting plate. And oh no, you know what I do need? And I don't know where I put that. Here it is. My post it tape. I need that to hold my die in place. Especially the one that has the um, really pretty colors in it. And I'm pretty sure. But that is going to go right like so, I think. I forgot to um, mark which direction I was stamping in. Okay, I think this is it right here. Nope. Okay, we got to play the twisty game. I forgot to pay attention to which direction I was stamping in, and I'm trying to find, I think that's my rabbit ears right there. I think I just found it. Ha! Huh. See, you guys brought me luck. I did. That was good. Okay, so I'm going to put my post-it tape down there. Put that in there, and then we're going to cut out, I think. I think I'm going to cut out um, an orange one first, an orange plaid bow. And the plaid might even be too much, but I just think it's going to be pretty. And we will see. That's just what you do. You play, you play, you play. So you guys, this card is halfway on the fly. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I got my plaid bow. We've got our wreath. Gosh, I really love this. I think it's so beautiful. I hope you guys think so too. All right, so then we're just going to find a place to put this. I'm going to put it right here because I have a little bit of muddiness going on right there. 
I'm going to put my bow right there. Or, you know what? I think this one I want to put on the top like so. That is pretty. Do you guys think the orange blends in? Let's try a yellow. Let's try a yellow. And if we don't like the plaid, we can always go with a solid, solid color. <laughs> right? When, uh, when everything else fails, go for the tried and true. All right, so cutting plate. Here it is. Okay. Oh, did that just slide on me? It did. All right, I'm going to put my posting aid on this. Normally, I don't for these things because I don't care if it slides, but I've got one little piece of yellow that the bow just fits in, so we don't want to get one. This table is loud. This table is definitely shaky. All right. Yellow. Okay, so what do you guys think? I need to bring this closer, but I'm so afraid. Okay, yellow, orange. Or do you think we need to go with um, Cajun Craze? Cajun Craze, let's try it. Didn't I cut a sl uh, slip of that? I did not. All right, oh, yes, I did. Okay, so let's try that one. And we'll see which one we like. Okay. I did saw someone comment what is the orange in there, but I'm not sure what you're asking. What does the orange one look like? There's really, I didn't put any orange in there, just the orange ink, just the um, yellow and the reds and all that kind of made an orange, I guess. All right, so this is the orange, the pumpkin pie bow. This is the crushed curry bow, which I really thought would really pop, but I don't know. If I bring it up, so you guys can see it a little better. And then here is the Cajun craze bow. Let's go right here. Cajun craze. Which one do you guys like? Or do you think we should do a solid one? Just a solid color bow. And if you do, what color? You like the Cajun craze, Cajun craze? Okay. There we go. Cajun craze it is. Okay. Let's put all this away. Let's put this. We don't need that. I'm going to put these. In my little magnetic bow, bow bowl so I don't lose them. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and adhere this down. I'm going to use my Tombow. And we are going to put this right in the center. Best we can, maybe not. <laughs> that is that's gonna work I'm not gonna fiddle with that okay all right so now we can just hang that like it's hanging on a door I probably should have cut this a little skinnier and then it would have looked like a door right we're gonna put that on there we're gonna put some dimensional on here just like so That's going to work for me. We're going to take these off. I broke all my thumbnails the other day. I was trying to get into one of my um, craft drawers. I was looking for some, um, what was I looking for? I was looking for something to do some other crafting outside of our um, paper crafting. And I think I want... I don't really want to cover up that deep red, though. Hmm. Let's see. I think we'll just do it here. Maybe right there. That looks good. 
What do you think? I think so. So we're going to put that up here. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to glue this flat down. So we're going to put a little adhesive on here. Or you can use a, um, a glue dot. All right, like so. Just like that. And then I think it needs a little something else. So we need a sentiment. So I'm going to pull in a sentiment here. Uh, let's do, we could do hello or grateful. I think we're going to do hello today. So I am going to just block this up. And I think, let's try something. Let's do, um, that might be too dark. Let's try this and let's see how that works. Okay. So we used Pacific Point reinker in the wreaths and the baby wipe technique. So let's see what Pacific Point will look like um, as a sentiment color. It might be too bright. And then if it is, we can always mix, which I think might work. I'm pretty sure this is going to be too, well, maybe not. That might work really well, actually. So we're going to go with that. All right. Put my thumb right in the ink. All right. So I'm going to trim this. And you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to just try to use scissors and try to cut the straight line. Okay. Not so bad. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hmm, no, I'm just going to, I'm going to flag it. We're going to flag it on both ends. Okay. Don't you hate when you can't decide what it is you want to do? I want my other scissors for this. Where are they? Here, these will work. Okay. And then, then you just bring this up. I don't always do this evenly. This is where punches come in handy for me. Just like that. And then we're going to take this other side. And we're going to go right up the middle. I feel like my cardstock is wet, but I don't know why it would be. It's cutting weird. Like so. Might just be me. Usually I flip it because that way I, I can just, it just helps me. I just can do it better that way. There we go. So now we've got it flagged and we're going to pop it up right like so. And I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional. And I'm just going to cut one of these because we're not going to waste them. They work perfectly fine. Stick that right on there. I think you guys are fixing to hear some commotion. My son and his fiance just pulled up into the driveway. I think I'm going to put that right about there. Now we're going to do one more thing. And we're going to use, I believe they're still current catalog, but let me check. I'm pretty sure they are. Pretty sure I saw them. Um, so much stuff that goes in and out. It's hard for me. Yes, the black enamel dot. Matte black dot. Matte black dot. Okay, so I am just going to go, I think I have some, and if I don't, we're going to pretend. Um, I don't. How about if we use, I can swear I did, there's no telling what I did with them, because nothing is organized right now. I am an unorganized mess. Look down here. Those aren't good. Aha! What did I just found? Let me know how to get the look if I can get them up. All right. One came off. So we're going to use these. Do you guys know what I'm fixing to do with this? I. I'm going to make a doorknob. 
All right, there. So this is a very simple card, but very cute. That's crooked. But I think it's so cute, and I think the reef just gives it a wow factor. So you can see the panels in the door. Um, I hope you guys like this. This is what I came up with you for you guys today. So I had fun doing it. I like you like you can tell. Look, I, I stamped all of these today. So and then tonight with you guys here. Oops, I hit the camera. So it is just so much fun. This is one I tried with fun shoppers. So you can do it with fun shoppers. Just be careful that you don't mix your inks because you're you're using different colors. If you go light to dark, you should be okay. Um Never go dark to light, though. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you guys like it. I hope that you guys, yes, Carol, this bundle is awesome. It makes beautiful Christmas cards. I highly recommend this bundle. <laughs> you like the yellow better? I don't know. I like them all. <laughs> All right, do you guys have any questions for me? Did I miss anything? I'm trying to breeze through here really fast. Um, doo -doo -doo. Thank you for sharing. Oh, by the way, Carol, um, I have, for the color challenge, I have a um, pack of rhinestones to send you. Um I don't remember if I still have your, I should, but I'm not positive. Could you private message me your address just to make sure? And I am going to get that into in the mail for you. Congratulations for that. And so you guys, if you didn't enter the color challenge, when I post another color challenge, go ahead and put your, put your card in there because I don't pick what I think is prettiest, and I don't let anybody else pick what they think is prettiest. I just do a general random name picker. So whoever enters, um, whoever enters wins a prize from me. Okay, so I think they, I'm so glad you guys like them. All right, so Carol makes beautiful Christmas cards. And fall cards, and if you do Halloween cards, makes cute Halloween cards and gift tags. I may do a video on gift tags too this year. So I hope that you guys like it. This is really a simple card to make, um, but I really think it's beautiful. It's just a nice little hello card with some pretty coloring in it. And um, yeah, it doesn't have to be hard, and it doesn't have to be all elaborate to be pretty. So I just wanted to come to you guys today and share a little technique and a simple card and say hi and to spend a little bit of time with you guys. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget about my uh, mailbox card class. Don't forget about paper pumpkin get together. Um, don't forget, save on shipping today. It ends tonight at, what did I say, 1159 Mountain Time. So whatever time that is in your time, that's the time. <laughs> Don't miss out on it. Okay, so I am going to go for now. Thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you guys don't get tired of hearing me say that. Thank you over on YouTube. Um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you do so because it really does help me out and I'm trying to reach a goal. And also, um, if you like this video and you like just please give me a thumbs up because that also helps me too. That helps um, YouTube want to share my video more. All right, you guys, I am going to go. I will see you later. Give me till tomorrow to put all my links on there. Um, I got a lot going on tonight, so I'll have it on there tomorrow, all the links. Uh, YouTube will already be on there by the time I load YouTube. All right, you guys, have a great rest of the week. I will see you. Next week, same time, same place. Doo-doo-doo.